Security what? patrol initiated. Here they come. That's right, Provati. Get him. Get him. Uh oh, she's down. Provati's down. Reload. All right, get up, girl. You did good. You did good. You'd be doing better if you found that sprat and killed it. We need some more sprat for dinner. Light ammo. Out some power around here. That looks interesting. All right, plant worker, plant worker. Are there any other boxes? Is that a box we can get at up there? Oh yeah, it is. All right, if I get here and I jump up here and I jump over here, I can get that. What is this up here? Is there a sprat in the bathroom? Plant worker. Not the security chief. Why does it sound like there's a computer in the bathroom? I mean, I'm not opposed to that. It's just odd. Uh, I think that was everything. We picked up that, right? God, they sound close wherever they are. They must be up on the walkway. You get away. What is this? Great work. Fantastic work, actually. Alright, we'll take that. We'll take up that. Mind the scene. You're liable to get scalded. Yeah, I don't want to get scalded. But I do want to loot that body. Uh, we don't need to do that. We can go right through here. Yeah, you do find Jeremy here. But he steals your kills. Here we go. Uh -oh. ah! Bravati. I don't want that girl. Down. Down they go. Okay, well, I think she got hurt because she decided to walk through the steam like a dummy. I'm not saying that's exactly what happened, but I have a feeling. Shut off the steam release valves. Yes, please, for the love of all that's good and holy. Shut off the steam. I mean, I appreciate a steam bath just as much as anybody, but just as much as the next guy. But let's let's be honest. I mean, there's it's a point at which it's too much. You just have to say enough is enough. Uh oh, more robots. Lots more robots. Processing. I'm ready for this. Uh 
Uh-oh. Bad idea. Get him, Pravati. You get him. Get that one. Get this one. Get him, Pravati. Uh oh. Let Pravati in there and make her do some work. I think she killed like 50 robots. Okay. Well, now that they're out of the way. So, if you actually go a way that we didn't go, you can activate Jeremy if you've helped him previously. And uh, Jeremy is going to go around and he's just going to start murking robots. And Jeremy doesn't screw around. He will just start murking robots. You don't have to worry about them. He goes on the hunt. And he takes no prisoners. It's just how he rolls. All right, what do we got back here? That's the plant worker, Adria. Do we need to go up top? All right, that's the last switch. Now, if we unbar the door, that gets us back out. Grab that, grab that. Grab that. Unbar that door. Come on, Provider, get him. I'm on it. Get him. Oh. Sorry, this brat had to die. There was just no option. There's Jeremy. What's up, buddy? Diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. You made it out of the junkyard. Good job, Jeremy. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. Oh, you're welcome. Hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion, all hostile auto mechanicals must be defective. I completely in compliance agree. with Spacer's Choice policy, all defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Agreed. Please allow me to assist. Assist away, my friend. Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Mechanicide. Confirmation. Go get him, Jeremy. Sick him. Ah, uh, what's this? I think it's down in the pit. Uh, I believe it is. Repair log, repair log, blah, blah, blah. Jeremy looks like he's stuck. Okay. So this is where we didn't go when we were in this room and talked to good old Jeremy. Uh, the... Let's head down here. We can hear uh, the guy yelling at us. Oh, the, 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 there's a ladder over here somewhere. There we go. Before we chat him up, we will uh, save our game. I think there's some sort of conversation no, no, check. No, Why no. persuade, intimidate? All right, let's uh, we'll save. Then we'll chat him up. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom! Shoot! Scram! Does that really work? Uh, sneak 30. I wasn't trying to startle you. Alright. Let's load game. Remember when I said the next time we... We need to get 30 points into sneak? 
Uh, let's see here. It's like not got mind, body. Mind attributes, body attributes. I think it's a body attribute. Yeah, let's try that. And what's our sneak at now? Twenty-eight plus third. Wow, really? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we're not, not getting real. that. You're not, you're not real. You can talk. The phantoms never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. Probably see, not. See, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Uh, where's Higgins? Is Magnum around? Let's see, uh, slow down and tell me what's going on. Clearly I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Uh, so you're the one that turned them all loose on everybody. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. Really? Don't worry, I've got Jeremy. He's dealing with them. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Mechanicals follow the behavior of the logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. All right, Jeremy. Crazy town. Getting out of here. After I take your impact hammer. And your guide to mechanical engineering. And whatever that is. Your energizing ointment. Although I don't want to know what you've been using that for. Uh, what did he say? Something about the terminal in the other room. It's just around the... Yeah, okay. Jeremy's a little nutty. All right, let's go to our journal and say, divert the geothermal power plant. Power, that's good, yes. So we've kind of done a little bit of that already insofar as we've been going around and activating all the various systems, throwing a bunch of switches and that are like uh, this. So as we throw the switch, it kind of turned on all of that stuff. That's what we were kind of doing through here. Hey, hey look who it is. It's Jeremy. Uh, and once we threw all those switches, it started activating a lot of this stuff. Uh, you know what? I don't remember where we got the Chief's key card from. But I'm not burning a... I'm not burning four of those things just yet. Not just yet. Once we do this, there's no going back. No going back. Hey, mister? Yeah? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Uh, flip a switch and things happen? 
You know what? Why don't you give me your opinion on this? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't they deserve, deserve to, be to be punished. Wait, no, they don't deserve to be punished. I got it. I see your point. Okay, well, I'll take your point into consideration. How about that? Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just, I felt like I had to say something. You were babbling a bit. I'll, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. But, you know, it's good to hear feedback from the peanut gallery from here and there. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Yeah, good times. All right. Uh, yeah, let's uh, use the terminal. Plant status. Redirect power. Continue. Redirect power to Edgewater. Yes. Turn to root. Excellent. Uh, where were we that we were about to... Ah, down here, yes. Well, wait, hold on. I see ammo. Okay. Now. Let's go hack this door. Uh, I missed looting something because I really wasn't looking that hard. We're just gonna crack this open. And grab one, two... Da, 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 da. I think there was a body somewhere with the card on it. I just don't remember where. And I thought it was underneath one of these. Like down in here somewhere hiding. But uh, it doesn't really matter. Alright, we already looted them. Let's get out of here. And we will go to... Talk with uh, Adelaide. Hey, did we not loot this? Nice. Okay. Well, hey, wow. Did we, how did we not loot that stuff? I would have swore that we came out here and looted all that. Okay, that thing's been looted. Maybe we just skipped the... They've all been looted. Alright, uh, maybe we just missed a small section of uh, things right there. That makes sense. Makes more sense than missing the entire exterior of that building. Alright, let's go talk to Adelaide. Actually, let's talk to Jeremy. Where's Jeremy at? Deserter. Thomas. Yes, Adelaide's Thomas, okay. not Jeremy. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. It might be. Today's your lucky day, Tommy boy. No kidding. Really? Yeah. Well, which one? Uh, which one do you think? The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. It was. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm going to be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Well, how nice of you. All right, where's, uh... So what's her name here? Old purple hair? I don't see her. Alright. Adelaide's in here. Let's uh, save this. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. 
Me? This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. Me? I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Because I have guns? <sighs> you want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. Well, okay. You tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Uh... What if I get rid of Reed? You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me. And I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Remind me not to eat those apples. <clears throat> uh, okay. I have got a means to cure the plague, and I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. All right. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Did you grind him up and put him in the food? All right, let's get our power regulator. And let's talk to Tommy boy. Sorry, uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do is all. I think you should go back home. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. Yeah, go back. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Well, then don't. You know something? I think you're right. Of course I am. The town could use another engineer. They could. And I'm on my way to becoming one. Yes, you are. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never going to forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater and... I'm as good as dead to her. You know where to find me. Uh, let's go. Talk to Reed about stepping down, I think. Eh, you know what, let's talk to Grace first, but we'll save. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Come on, Gracie. Wild boy. canids, on the other hand. I talked Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? I gave her a comic book, and she just decided to come on back. Something about wanting to be an outlaw. I'd rather not get into it. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. That is the least. Let me know if do. I can do something for you. Well... I have a feeling I'm not really your type. 
Uh, let's see here. Sneak. Yes. We need to uh, raise... Ah, uh, hack is what we wanted to put our points into. We're going to put 10 points in stealth, and that is going to solve both problems. There we go. Gets us to 30 there. Gets us 40 so that we can unlock the restricted items in the vending machines, and we can buy our corrosive damage mod if we ever find it. Uh, let's apply that. Yes. Okay. I don't want to talk to her about going back. I don't think... I don't know. It's going to end the conversation. to talk some sense oh, into Zoe, up. but I appreciate it. It's going to end the same way as it did with the kid, where we're going to tell him to go back. She's going to say, I don't want to betray Adelaide. And we're going to say, okay, well, I'll talk to, uh, what's his name, about stepping down. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? That's right. I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're going to have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. That's right, because they have Listen, walls. We go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not going to forgive us. She never talked to us again. Don't do anything hasty. I'm going to go talk to Reed and stepping down. Sure. Yes. Suit your... Okay. See, no point in talking to either one of them. All right, back. Uh, you know, before we go back, back, let's uh, pop out to the landing pad and check some vending machines, and then we'll go back and talk to Reed. Just because we can. Let's see here. Bye. No. 6,000 for... No. Wow, that electrocharged surface thing that uh, Tommy Boy gave us was worth six grand. That's kind of nice. Uh, 600 for magazine size. And nothing. All right. Where's the uh, general goods store? I wonder if he's got any in here. Work your Yeah, let me see what you're selling. Music to my ear. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have it either. All right, whatever. We have a pretty big uh, bonus to selling stuff to him. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. That, 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 that. That and that. All right. Stealth, melee skills. Get rid of that. Light handguns. Mm. Meh. Tech skills, stealth skills. I think we already have this, right? This is what we're using currently. Oh, yeah, where are those apples at? Yeah, let's sell those things. I'm sure those aren't light. Let's sell that and that and that and that. Movement speed, meh. Don't care about that stuff. Companion ability cooldown. No. Uh, recharge rate on our tactical time dilation. Eh, that's nice, but I really don't care at the moment. All right, let's hold on to that stuff. So, I mean, we've got like almost 13 grand in bits. So, we should be able to buy the uh, corrosive mod if we can ever find it. It'd be nice to find it at a vendor like that guy because, well... It'll be, it'll be much cheaper from him than it will be from anybody else. I guess we will go up and talk to Reed. See if we can't convince him into stepping down. 